Alright guys, welcome to your 45th XHTML tutorial, and before I start, I want to say that today, March 13th, 2011, Duke has just beaten UNC 75-58. to So if you're a Duke fan, congratulations. If you're a UNC fan, I'm sorry. If you're watching this video like two years later, then this is history. What do you care? So anyways, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. It's time for me to stop talking about basketball. And let's go ahead and say we're making a form right here. The perfect form. And now it's time to add... Why is this so... My screen looks like a doll for some reason. Shouldn't it be brighter? If this tutorial looks like <laughs> not as bright as the other ones, then uh, let me know because it looks that way to me. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and give them a place to enter their username. And we will do this with like input and type equals text and name equals username and go ahead and put an ending dash right there and my mom's texting me let's see what she said mama ooh she's talking to me about my cousin who is this is another thing that's going on right now there's an earthquake in japan recently and uh... my cousin was telling her about it so anyways that's what my mom and my cousin were talking about now we can continue okay so copy and paste and now this one can be password and password is really easy just change the type to password and the name to pass or anything you want so now we have this on our screen right here okay save this and refresh it a username and a password so say the user fills out their username and password but now they're done and now the user wants to submit their information to the website well how can we have the user submit their information to the website so that the website can you know do whatever it wants with it stored in a database or make a user account or whatever well in order to have the user submit the data they need the last well this is the last input type I'm going to tell you about and this is called submit now whenever we make the type submit this appears whoa that's definitely not how you do it kinda of getting ahead of myself here type equals submit whenever we have a submit button on the screen then I just gave it away it makes a button appear on the screen and what does that button say on it well actually you have another attribute here called value and whatever you type in the value is what appears on the button so now we're gonna have two fields a user and a password field in this input type submit this means make a submit button and what do you want to say on it submit with explanation point at the end so go ahead and save this and refresh and check it out we now can enter a username and password and they hit submit but now when they hit submit nothing happens and that is because I didn't tell you about this one little thing first of all we don't know any computer programming yet so I'm not even going to be getting to like, talk to you guys about that but in your opening form tag you need two attributes by default to tell you the truth I can't even remember if I went over this before or not but I don't think I have so here you go later on when you learn how to program in like PHP or something you're gonna have something called an action and your action is basically saying this whenever the user hit submits hits the submit button what do you want to do with all that data well typically you have another file somewhere and then this file is responsible for processing this data the file is typically a small computer program and say this program would take their username and password and store it in the database so the file might be called something like do something I'm just giving you guys an example but you would write the file name in right here and aside from this attribute you also have something called a method now a method has two possible values get get or post and by the way if you want to shut this tutorial off right now then go ahead because this is you know kind of advanced stuff that you don't have to worry about right now but you're gonna have to come back to it sometime anyways it has two different types of method get and post and this is basically the way your browser sends data to a to the action so get basically if you want to bookmark pages you know what I'm not even going to tell you this has nothing <laughs> to do with XHTML or CSS this is more like PHP so anyways just go ahead and put post remember post is more secure always use post 
there that's that's all I'm gonna cover so anyways that is how you make a submit button even though all we can do is you know click it right now and nothing happens see it says web page not found because it tried to go to do something that file and you know nothing happened because I didn't even make that file but anyways that's what happens that's the core basics behind creating a submit button so later when we learn JavaScript or PHP we can uh, actually do something with this information but for now I'm sorry that's all you guys get so all you Duke fans go enjoy go celebrate all you UNC fans go cry in a corner and uh, wait for next year so uh, yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial